All right, so today is the day we're finally gonna do the maiden voyage of the kayak camping trailer. I've got both of our kayaks loaded up, as you can see, mine slid over. I've got her outback kind of slid to the side, everything's strapped down. We're gonna take it to Lake Gunnersville today for the first trip. Now this thing is nowhere near completed yet. We're still gonna be doing a lot more mods to it, but I kind of want to give it a trial run and see if there's anything I need to change. I've got the back seat loaded up, got the jackery plugged up and it is plugged to the refrigerator. I got a new refrigerator. I'm gonna share it with you this weekend. It fits really good behind there. I've got the Mirage drives, tables, chairs, got everything in the back. Everything's strapped down. We're just about ready to go. We're gonna to head to Lake Gunnersville. We're gonna stay just one night. We're gonna set everything up, set the tent up, set the awning up, do a little bit of fishing, a little bit of filming. I'm gonna show you guys some new gear that I picked up and give it a trial run. It should be fun. The weather's gonna be nice this weekend and the fish are biting at Lake Gunnersville. So I'm gonna finish packing up and we're gonna hit the river. All right guys, we made it. We are at Lake Gunnersville State Park. The lake is right behind me. Let me spin it around, get y'all sick so you can see it. And we are in one of our favorite spots to camp on Lake Gunnersville. It's, it's part of the state park, but it's not in the campground area. It's really primitive. They've got a bathroom and it's really nice. I think we've actually got a video, a rooftop tent camping video on my channel where we camped here before when the tent was on my truck. But everything's set up good. I wanna turn the camera around. We got here, it's not too late, I think it's, it's about five o'clock, so the fish are gonna be biting in a minute, and I wanna get some good footage. I wanna go out and try to catch some fish, but I wanna give you guys a full walk around. The setup is amazing. Now, this is the first time that we have set this trailer up. If you've been following along, you know that this is the maiden voyage, so I am so happy so far. I, I do wanna say that I want the next mod we do to the trailer, I wanna go ahead and put those corner jacks on because getting it level without them, that was a kind of a pain in the butt. I had to find a hole and for one tire to drop down in the hole just to get the trailer level, but we got it leveled out. The awning is great and everything works great. I've got some new gear I wanna show you and then we're gonna get on the kayak and go out fishing. So we were able to set up right on the water and check out the solar panels. So this is one of the pieces of gear I wanted to share with you and it brings me to today's video sponsor, which is Jackery. They actually sent out, I think I told you guys about this thing in a recent video, but this is the Explorer 1500. Right now, I've got it hooked up to four of their solar panels. They are 100 watt each, and they are actually charging the Jackery as we're using it. And it's what we're gonna run the entire camp setup this weekend on. We're gonna run the trailer lights. Everything's gonna be run off that bad boy right there. It is awesome. It's got plenty of AC hookups, DC hookups, USB ports, USB-C ports. It is awesome. And I think at the end of October, well, it's at the 18th through the 20th, they're gonna be having a huge sale, 15% off everything site-wide on Jackery. So y'all go check that out. I have it linked in the video description below. Y'all check it out. And the next thing I wanna share, share with y'all before we get out on the kayak is that thing right there. If you notice, that is not my big one from New Air. This one is actually, let me show you the name of it, right there, Bodega. They sent this out to me and it's a lot like the big one from New Air, but it's a smaller compact size. So I was able to actually fit this one in the bed of the truck. And this one actually comes with its own battery. I'll try to turn around and show y'all back there. I don't think y'all can see it, but it comes with its own battery. So you can actually charge the battery and run the fridge off just the battery. It don't run very long, maybe a few hours, but it's really good to, if your power goes out and you know, like if the Jackery was to die, which that thing's never gonna die, we would still have some juice in the fridge to keep everything cold for a while. So it's 
It's really neat. It's got a ton of storage. It's even got a cutting board. Check this out. You can pull this cutting board out and throw it on the top. And there's a little place for it right on the top so you can cut up whatever. And it's built right into the lid. So that's really, really cool. This thing is awesome. It's got the USB charger on the top so you can plug your phone up and charge it. It tells you the temperature. I hope there's not too much glare, but that thing's awesome. I'm gonna have a link for that and a coupon code in the video description. If y'all are interested in that fridge, check the links below. I'm gonna have everything linked down there. And now I'll give you a walk around of the setup. Look how good that awning is. If y'all been following this build, you know I've been wanting to set this up for a while. We got the trailer pretty level. We didn't have to do much. There was a, uh, a good hole right here <laughs> for me to drop the tire down into. <laughs> And that got as level. I, brought, I did think to bring a level with me because I wanted to try to get it as level as possible. If you've never slept in a rooftop tent, you make sure you bring a level with you. I, I don't care if it's on the bed of your truck or what. You're going to want to get it level because it sucks to sleep at like an incline. But she's already got everything set up in there. Got the pillows laid out. It's supposed to be pretty cool tonight. It's down in the 60s, the low 60s, so it's going to be set up pretty nice. We might not have to turn on the AC. If we do, I'll, I'll film it, show you guys how well it works. But here's the awning. We are up under it right now. The rod tubes, I brought, I think, seven rods with me. Everything fit right in the rod tubes. There's a good shot of it right there. But what we're fixing to do now, while the solar panels are charging the Jackery, and I don't know if I mentioned, they're 100 watts each, so that's 400 watts pumping into the Jackery right now from the sun just charging it as we're using it so that's going to work out really cool but now the next mission there are uh, can you guys see them look at the feed going on i hope y'all can see that we'll try to zoom in they are feeding right there right in front of me and that's what i'm going out to get right now we're going to load the kayak up i'm going to throw a gopro on here and we're going to go out here and see if we can catch some of these big ones they've been feeding like that since we got here they're chasing the shed getting into schools. I've got a pop arts hat on and a chatterbait and a couple other things I think I'm going to be able to give them, get them on. There's my wife's kayak. We got it set up. She's got that, uh, that's the one, if you watch my channel, that's the one that the squirrel ate. There's where we did the repairs on the rod tubes. There's where we actually deleted that whole rod tube right here. But yeah, I'm going to turn this camera around. We're going to set everything up and we're going to get out here and see if we can catch some of these, these bass that are feeding on these shad. Look at that right in front of me. All right, I got, I got to get out there. All right, guys, good morning. It is the next day. I didn't do a whole lot of filming last night. We just kind of cooked a couple of steaks. We didn't catch any fish. We got out there, and they kind of quit biting. And it's about 7.30 in the morning the next day. The tent, the, the tent slept pretty good. I'm happy with the, the way it slept. Uh, we did try to run the AC, and let me tell you, that AC, oh, I, I freaking love that AC. The, having an AC when it's hot and humid in a tent is just, I've never had it before and it's, it's a game changer. Everything is completely soaking wet. I mean, there's so much dew on the ground. Like the kayaks are soaking wet. You can see my truck, the windshield is just drenched. There's so much humidity here in Alabama this time of year, the dew just gets so thick. It's almost like it rains when you wake up in the morning. But the fridge did great. We actually unplugged the refrigerator last night and left it running off of the, the onboard battery that I told you guys, you know, you can buy that. It comes separate, but it has the onboard battery that you can get. And we just unplugged it from the Jackery and rolled it under the tent so it didn't get wet. And it's still running off the onboard battery that comes with it. So it worked out really nice. She's setting up, we're gonna cook some eggs and some sausage get some breakfast going and then we're gonna hop back in the kayaks look at this water it's flat there's a slow breeze blowing right now maybe about two miles an hour it's perfect for getting out there and trying to catch some top water so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna eat some breakfast get out here and see if we can catch some fish I mean I love catching fish out here this ain't the whole point of the trip I didn't come out here to fish so I'm not doing as much fishing but I've got the kayaks with me we've got the rods so I definitely want to try to get one over here but let's get some breakfast first. That is how you eat when you go camping. 
So I'm going to scarf down this food real quick and we're going to hop on the kayak and get out there. I just sent a drone out. I got some really cool drone footage. I hope I can include a lot of the drone footage. This will be the, really the first test with this thing. So hopefully there's a lot of cool drone footage in this video for you guys. But I'm going to eat this delicious plate of eggs, sausage, and toast. And then we're going to hop on the kayaks and go see if we can catch a few fish. Well, that was three hours on the water and no fish. <laughs> you didn't miss anything. I burnt through a couple of GoPro batteries. Got a lot of footage of you, me just kind of pedaling around, but look how filthy the water is. Look at that. Can you see that scum line across my kayak? It's nasty out there. The grass is let go or they've been, they've got a boat that cuts the grass in the water out here and it's kind of just floating on the top of the water everywhere. It's hard to fish with anything without reeling in a pound of grass every time you cast but we are going to eat some lunch and then we're probably going to pack it up and head back home i think it was a good success for the the rooftop tent i'm definitely going to add the jack stabilizers next uh, that way we don't have to find a hole in the ground to get the trailer leveled out the jackery did great the bodega fridge did great don't forget i've got links below for both of those and there's a promo code for that fridge check that fridge out it's, it's pretty cool we're really happy. It's still running on the, the built-in battery that you can get for it. So we're going to eat some lunch. We're going to pack everything up, get loaded up, and uh, head back to the house. I appreciate you guys watching. Look at this mess, too. We're going to clean this up, too. People just come out here and just they throw their trash in the fire pit when they're done camping, and they just leave it. We're going to clean that up. That is not from us, by the way. So we're going to load everything up today, head back to the house. It was a, a successful first test on the trailer. Got a lot more mods coming for this thing, so if you've been following it, stay tuned. I've got some really cool stuff coming for it, and I'll catch you next Thursday at 2 o'clock. Peace.